I remember you saying earlier that like this is like one of your first times almost like acting. Did you have like an yeah. acting coach as well? But I talk way too fast. And when I talk fast, I can't tell. Like it sounds like I'm talking really, really slow when I talk at a normal pace. And so every single director who's ever worked with me has always at one point in time said, Hudson, slow down. But yeah, I had an acting coach. He's a really great guy and I still keep in touch with him. We go out to eat a lot. He's uh, probably, he's like he's been with me since I was super young, and he's probably one of the biggest influences on my acting career and my personal like, development. Uh, yeah, his name is Mark Schwartz, great guy. And then They're, your show parents are awesome. Constance, Constance Wu and Randall Park are oh just my gosh, yeah. She, like even before the show started, they were they were like up and coming huge names in the in Asian Hollywood yeah. Asian entertainment. But like, what are some things that Randall Park and Constance Wu help like guide you on? And literally just by sitting in the same room and talk, listening to them talk and listening to them act, has like, it's just like, it's, it's mind blowing, it's incredible. It's like, you learn so much just from that. I mean, Randall is like the nicest guy in the world. It's ridiculous. Like he took like, he was like on lunch break and he noticed that like the second, like the person up front who was like managing people coming in and out, didn't have like a clipboard. So he drove to Staples, bought a clipboard out of his own like wallet and just like went back to like eating lunch after giving him a clipboard. Like, he does stuff like that all the time for no need for praise. He just does it to do it because he thinks it's good. And like, he's one of the biggest influences for like the kind of person I want to be. He's like my role model. Didn't Randall Park direct like the final episode of like season six? Randall Park like as Randall, as, as Lewis, is like, always pop, pop and joke. He's laughing and making everyone else laugh. He's just super crazy. And then as soon as he gets into like director mode, he's serious. He's still fun. He's still really nice and happy, but he's like, he's like, a different person. His, he, I feel like when I saw him direct, his vocal cords like dropped too. He was like, this is random. Normally it's like random direct. It was like really weird and trippy. But he did a great job. It was really an amazing episode. And he, like, he knew how to like help the actors act because he was working with us. And so it just, everything went so smoothly. Like first, like, it was awesome. It was really awesome. A big old mess later. Yeah, when this thing wrap up, I got Trent running my restaurant and I'm his narcolepsy's flaring up. I don't know how, but we did it. You know, try to stay away from bullying, wear a mask, stay safe. I mean, keep on trying, never give up on me. Even if it's not acting, even if it's just any hobby that you have. If you enjoy it, keep it up. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's been a great talking to you, dude. I've learned a lot about myself just during this interview. Just, I talk so much and I start thinking, wait, that's true. I like that, yeah, I just learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot more about me, and I'm really glad I did this interview. Um, yeah. Okay. Hudson, thank you so much for chatting with us today on VMD Arts The Green Room. And congratulations on the historic, successful birth of your career. And let's be real, and of your life. And like I said, I can't wait to go to your restaurant later on. Like, ooh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about that. Yeah.